The ancient Olympic Games, the most prestigious event of the ancient Greek world. It was a series of athletic competitions among representatives of Greek city-states. The competitors arrived from different cities because in the ancient world, Greece was divided into various city-states and was not one unified country. The games were held in honour of Zeus, the king of the Greek gods, with the first ever Olympic Games being held in 776 BC. Like today, the Olympics were held every four years and held at the Olympiad in Greece. They were the most important cultural event in the ancient Greek world, with the Olympic Games being used as a basis for the calendar. Sport, a healthy body and competition were a large part of Greek education, with the famous Socrates once saying that no man has a right to be an amateur in the matter of physical training. It is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. The games would begin with a procession which went from the host town of Elis to Olympia. On arrival at Olympia, all competitors swore an oath to follow the established rules of the competitions and to compete with honour and respect. Spectators were mainly from the Greek mainland, but came from Ionia and Magna Graeca too. During the games, an Olympic truce was enacted so that the competing athletes could travel from their cities to the games in safety. After each event, the victors were showered with flowers and laurel leaves. Women were not permitted to participate or watch the events, although young girls were allowed in the crowd. Athletes were trained under professional trainers who knew how to best develop particular muscles, effective diets, and the correct amount of exercises to be done. The athletes even had an assistant who would rub them down with oil and massage them before and after exercise. The athletes competed naked, with the stadium foot race being the most prestigious event throughout the history of the games. The race was ran over one length of the stadium track, which was approximately 190 metres. Athletes were selected randomly by lot to ensure fairness among the competitors. The winner of the stadium would even give his name to that particular event, so he can be remembered for all time. Other events included pancration, a mix between boxing and wrestling, where the only moves prohibited were biting and gouging. There was also wrestling, chariot racing, and boxing. The pentathlon was added in the year 708 BC. This was all done in a single day, and the order was jumping, discus, stadion, javelin, and wrestling. If the competitors won three event victories, they may have been guaranteed an overall victory for the pentathlon. The rules of the games were very rarely broken, and when they were, penalties were imposed, ranging from exclusion and fines to floggings. Fines were paid both to the sanctuary and the wronged athlete. If an offender did not pay the fine, then the city he represented had to or else be excluded from the next Olympic Games. The Hellenodikai also gave out the victory crown of wild olive leaves and an olive branch cut from the sacred tree to each event winner. The olive was significant because the trees of Olympia were believed to be originally planted by Heracles. Another prize could be a red woolen ribbon, which was worn on the upper arm or around the head, especially for chariot races, as it was the horse owner who actually received the olive crown. Victors were welcomed back to their hometowns as heroes after the games. Typically, entering the city in a procession where they rode a four-horse chariot, the victors had huge banquets held in their honour and they could receive additional benefits, such as the exemption from tax and invitations to join the political elite. Cities also received prestige from victories at the games, and for this reason they sometimes offered financial incentives for athletes such as the Governor Solon's 500 drachmas prize. However, the real prize for athletes was glory, fame, and in a very real sense, historical immortality. This was achieved through the establishment of victors' lists, personal statues, and victory odes written in the winner's honour. The Olympic Games reached the height of their successes in the 6th and 5th centuries BC, but then gradually declined in importance as the Romans gained power and influence in Greece. In 393 AD, the Emperor Theodosius I decreed that all pagan cults and practices be eliminated. His successor, Theodosius II, ordered the destruction of all Greek temples in 426 AD.